Hey, this is Dan Lehman from automationhelpers.com. And today we're gonna to talk about how we can template your checklist to help optimize your workflow. Now I encourage you to follow along by signing up for SmartSuite using our affiliate link in the description below. Now to get us started, I'm inside of SmartSuite and I'm looking at a table of tasks. These are all very similar tasks around creating YouTube content. And therefore it's something that we'd wanna be able to template out to say, these are my series of individual items, or we can think of them as subtasks that we want to perform every single time I have one of these tasks. Just as a reminder, the checklist field is one of the many, I think 44 or more different field types that we have within SmartSuite. We can search for checklist and we'd be able to add a new checklist field to our app. In this case, I already have a checklist field. And if I click, I can modify the field settings and if I click over on defaults, this is where I have the option to be able to add in new items that will be in my default list for that checklist. Now, one thing that you'll notice is that when we have our checklist and we open this up, typically we have the ability to assign items, but also be able to have due dates and assign to. And because of this structure, that allows any of those checklists to then be assigned in the My Work section, which is another great feature of SmartSuite, a unified area where we can see all of our tasks available to us. Now, currently in our defaults, again, if I go back to that modify field settings, we only see the ability to really create the title or label of that subtask. We don't have the ability to automatically assign the individuals assigned to, as well as the date for that. Now that feature is actually a request to be able to have the checklist field allow default assignees and also due dates. And this is something that is marked as in planning. Thankfully, we'll be looking at that feature rolling out here in the future from the SmartSuite team. But let's go ahead and give this a try. I'm going to create a new record. And in this case, we'll say it's SmartSuite checklists is what we're creating a video on. If I tab off of here, notice that we now have those checklist items. If I open those up, I can in fact see those checklist items and I could now manually enter in due dates and assign those to individuals who need to complete those subtasks. But we also have another option aside from using the defaults in the checklist field and that's to use an automation. Now I have another app here and really I just duplicated these, but just to show a different example where I have tasks but in this case, I have different types of tasks. They're not all about creating videos. Instead, I have discovery calls, creating technical designs. So as you can imagine, the subtask that we would have associated with this wouldn't necessarily be the same. And so we wanna be able to have some conditional logic involved. What I've done here is I've created an automation. Let me go over to my automations and I've called this one checklist template. So I'll go ahead and open this. And what I've done is I've set up a trigger for when a record matches a condition. I've done this on my tasks app and I'm specifically saying where the type is equal to and I created a task type. And in this case, I'm saying if it's an SOW, a statement of work that we're doing for our clients and the assigned to is not empty. And the reason I have that is because sometimes the record gets created too quickly and I wanna make sure that both of these pieces of data are present in order to actually build that checklist. Then the action I create is to update the record. And this is simply updating the existing task record that triggered this in the first place. And then we've got the ability to say for the checklist field, and now we can add in all of our items. So I can put in that description, but here's where we get that more granular control. We've got the ability to put in a due date. We could have an interval based on that due date and then the assignee of that record. And just to show you some of the options that we have, for this first created on, we can actually pull dates from the trigger itself, which is what I've done. Essentially, when that record's created, we're going to say X amount of days later is when we want to assign it. But we could also do a specific date. So you could just pick an arbitrary date. And be careful when doing that just because the automations might create records where the due date's in the past. So I don't use that very often. And then we also have additional date actions. Like we could say tomorrow or a week from now, essentially when this is running the automation. So we've got some options there. We can of course assign the interval of number of days beyond that. And then the assignee, we've got a couple of options. In this case, I'm doing members from trigger and I'm doing the assigned to. When I have the parent task, 
I'm choosing that assigned to person to assign them to all the subtasks. But if you'd say, you know, I actually want this one to be assigned to a specific individual, you could just choose members of the team and wouldn't have to rely on any automated background process for that. We can save that automation. And I'll leave this one since I already saved it. And then I come back to my tasks app here. Let's go ahead and test it out. So we'll have a record and I will say that we're going to create an SOW. I will assign this to myself. And then our other important part of the trigger here is that this has type of SOW. Now, when I open up my record here, I can see my checklist items and it's created those three checklist items or subtasks with the dates and with the correct assignees. And then if I were to head into my work, I'd be able to see all of those upcoming tasks that we just created for create SOW, send SOW to client, validate with architect and requirements analysis. Because those are assigned to me, I will be able to see that in my work section. Love to hear what your thoughts are on subtasks and checklists inside of SmartSuite. If you have any questions about templating or you need any help with your implementation, reach out to us over at automationhelpers.com. Let me know your comments down below.